it is my delightful task to introduce the Alumna of the Year Award. There were 54 high achieving and impressive women nominated for the award from 17 of our schools and academies. It was a tough task to choose from a short list of so many impressive and inspiring alumni. But now the moment has come for me to reveal the winner, who is Dr. Narupa Murugesu. How are you feeling, Narupa? Um, well, I'm, I have to say I'm thrilled. I'm very honoured to have um, to receive the award. Tell us about your school, which GDST school you went to, and what your memories are of that school. I went to Notting Hill and Ealing High School, and I remember my school days very fondly. I mean, it was fun. I think it was a fun environment, and um, uh, there were truly inspirational teachers that were very supportive um, and very encouraging, and sort of instilled confidence in, in girls to, to, to achieve what they, f they could and to really sort of give them the view that if they put their mind to it and if they worked hard and were determined then they could go for anything. So it gave you that spirit to Absolutely. succeed. That's fantastic. Um, now do tell us about the Genome Project. The 100,000 Genomes Project um, was uh, set up as part of the Olympic uh, legacy and was announced in 2012. The aim of the project is to provide a research platform to really in increase our understanding uh, of both uh, rare disease and cancer. I'm uh, involved in the cancer programme. And ultimately, um, it is really providing a research platform as well as the infrastructure to develop um, a genomic medicine service within the NHS. And going forwards, um, the aim is to have equity of testing and standardised testing across the NHS for patients. And I'm sure a lot of our GDST girls will find your work and achievements very inspiring. Can you tell us what advice would you give to GDST girls now in schools about their future career? Um, I think the main advice that I would give is you really have to find what you enjoy doing and I think that uh, in itself provides so much motivation. I think initially your motivation is perhaps based on achieving certain academic goals but I think going forwards then there is within science there is that ability to find what are the areas that interest you most because then that means that you're doing something that you enjoy and that you feel passionately about. Did you know when you're at Notting Hill and Ealing high school mm. that it was going to be uh, science uh, from a very early age uh, and thereafter medicine? So I went about it in that I was interested in pursuing a career in medicine um, but actually it was only later that I uh, followed a career in oncology and I think my real interest in science stemmed from my PhD and I have been very fortunate to be involved um, at a time where there's been such great advances in, te in the technology. This morning, one of the themes that came up was uh, resilience, or as mm. Nikki Morgan said, bounce back ability. Yes. Um, and uh, I wondered if you in your career have ever had any knocks that you've had to bounce back from, or obstacles that you've had to overcome? Um, I think everyone does, and I think the thing that has helped me uh, is having the sort of right senior colleagues or mentors that have provided the guidance but also acted as a sounding board. So I'm very grateful for the mentors that I've had throughout my career. So your school career, your daughter is now at Notting Hill and Ealing yes. High School. Uh, yes. Can you tell us a bit about your decision to send her there? I think it, it, it reflects that, um, the fact that I was very happy and I felt that it was the right school for me for many reasons and therefore it was an easy decision to make. Do you feel optimistic about the future for girls? I think we have to. I mean, there will always be challenges, there will always be hurdles, but I think it is how you approach them and ultimately, you know, I am seeing, and especially in the, in the area of science, 
I feel very passionate, very strongly that we must encourage women who are, wish to pursue an academic career in science to forge forward with that. Well, it's thanks to women like you that we are shaping the future now and giving girls uh, that foundation to succeed. So thank you very much for being with me tonight uh, and answering a few questions. And again, many, many congratulations and thank you for your confidence in the GDS team. Thank you.